Imagine living in a world where your every action is guided by a deep sense of purpose, where the noise of external validation fades into the background, and you're no longer bound by the superficial expectations of others. This is the silent transformation of those on a spiritual journey, a path not marked by sudden epiphanies, but by the slow, deliberate release of habits and mindsets that no longer serve them. As you grow in consciousness, you begin to see life differently. Things that once mattered lose their grip on you. There's no need to pretend, no need to fit in. Instead, there's a new kind of freedom, a freedom rooted in authenticity, in living life on your own terms. Yet, this freedom doesn't come overnight. It's a process. An intimate unraveling of who you thought you were. They had to reveal the person you've always been beneath the layers. In this video, we'll uncover the subtle yet profound habits that spiritually awakened people gradually let go of as they ascend toward higher consciousness. Whether you're just beginning your journey or have been walking this path for years, these truths may resonate with the deeper part of your soul, the part that knows it's time to release what no longer serves your highest self. Section 1. Embracing Authenticity in a Superficial World The first thing spiritually awakened people slowly abandon is the need to conform. In a world that constantly tells us who to be and how to act, authenticity becomes a rare and precious gift. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of expectations, trying to fit in, chasing success, or seeking approval. But as you begin to awaken spiritually, you realize that none of these things define who you truly are. There is an undeniable freedom in shedding the layers of pretense and letting your true self shine through. This shift doesn't happen overnight. It's gradual. One day, you wake up and realize that the opinions of others no longer hold the same weight. You stop shaping yourself to fit a mold and start embracing the beauty of your individuality. Highly conscious people understand that authenticity is their greatest strength. They don't seek validation from others because they've found it within. They carry a quiet confidence, not born from arrogance, but from a deep understanding of who they are at their core. And in a world that so often values image over substance, their honesty and realness become a breath of fresh air. This process of embracing authenticity may be uncomfortable at first. It requires vulnerability, the courage to stand apart, and the willingness to let go of the safety that comes from fitting in. But as you step further into your true self, you begin to see the power in your uniqueness. You no longer feel the need to chase after the latest trends or align yourself with the crowd. Instead, you live from a place of truth, and that truth sets you free. Every day, you move closer to who you were meant to be. And with each step, the burden of trying to be someone else fades away. Section 2. Letting Go of External Validation As spiritually awakened individuals step deeper into their journey, another profound shift occurs. They slowly begin to release the need for external validation. It's a subtle but powerful transformation. For most of us, approval from others can feel like a lifeline. We're taught from a young age that our worth is measured by the praise we receive, by how well we fit into society's expectations. But for the spiritually conscious, this need for approval begins to lose its grip. At first, it may feel unsettling. After all, we're conditioned to seek out compliments, to crave recognition, and to yearn for that nod of approval from others. It's comforting, even addictive. Yet, the more connected you become to your true self, the more you realize that this external validation is fleeting, like trying to hold water in your hands. It never lasts and chasing it leaves you feeling hollow. Highly conscious people discover a profound truth. Real validation comes from within. They no longer measure their value by what others think, but by their own sense of purpose, their inner knowing. It's not that they stop caring about others entirely, far from it, but they understand that other people's opinions are just that, opinions, not the ultimate truth about who they are. This shift is liberating. Imagine no longer being weighed down by the pressure to impress others, to meet someone else's standards. Instead, you begin to live for yourself, guided by your own sense of purpose and worth. 
You stop seeking approval, not because you're indifferent, but because you found something far more meaningful, self-acceptance. And with this self-acceptance comes peace. The opinions of others may still swirl around you, but they no longer dictate your path. You start to feel grounded, anchored in your own truth, and this creates a quiet, unshakable confidence. This kind of inner strength is magnetic. It draws people in, not because you're trying to impress them, but because you're authentically living as yourself. This is one of the most beautiful aspects of spiritual growth. You realize that the only approval you truly need is your own. You start to trust yourself, to validate your own experiences, and to live with a sense of freedom that can't be shaken by anyone else's judgment. And with every step on this path, you let go of the need for others to define your worth, because you've already found it within. Section 3. The Art of Releasing Control As you continue down the path of spiritual awakening, a deeper lesson begins to unfold, learning to let go of control. In our everyday lives, we often cling tightly to the need for control. We want to manage every outcome, predict every twist, and avoid the unknown at all costs. It gives us the illusion of safety, a sense that if we just hold on tightly enough, we can shape life to fit our expectations. But slowly, spiritually awakened individuals begin to realize that control is an illusion. Life, in all its complexity, cannot be contained or predicted. The more we try to control every detail, the more we entangle ourselves in anxiety, frustration, and disappointment. Spiritual growth invites us to release this need, to trust the flow of life even when it takes us in unexpected directions. This process is not easy. It can feel terrifying at first. Letting go of control feels like stepping into the unknown, like surrendering to something far greater than ourselves. But in that surrender, there is immense freedom. The more you loosen your grip, the more you begin to see that life has a rhythm of its own, one that doesn't need to be forced or manipulated. Spiritually conscious people don't try to micromanage their existence. Instead, they've learned the delicate art of allowing, allowing life to unfold naturally, allowing themselves to flow with the currents rather than fighting against them. They understand that there's wisdom in trusting the process, in knowing that while they can't control everything, they can always choose how they respond. This shift in perspective brings with it a deep sense of inner peace. Imagine no longer being consumed by the need to plan every detail, no longer overwhelmed by the weight of controlling every outcome. You begin to live in the present, fully immersed in the moment, knowing that whatever happens, you have the strength to face it. You trust yourself, you trust life, and this trust allows you to breathe, to let go, and to simply be. Releasing control doesn't mean giving up or resigning yourself to fate. It's about recognizing that while you can't shape every circumstance, you can find freedom in how you navigate them. Highly conscious people embrace this understanding. They let life guide them, trusting that each experience, whether pleasant or challenging, is part of their growth. And in doing so, they discover that the less they try to control, the more life flows effortlessly around them, offering peace in the most unexpected places. The beauty of spiritual growth lies in this delicate balance of letting go while staying grounded. It's about learning to dance with life, trusting its rhythm, and finding peace in the unknown. Each step forward on this journey feels lighter because you've released the burden of control, allowing your spirit to soar freely. Section 4. Embracing Emotions as Tools for Growth as spiritually awakened people continue their journey, they come to realize a profound truth. Emotions are not obstacles to overcome, but powerful tools for growth. For many, emotions, especially the uncomfortable ones like anger, sadness, or fear, are seen as something to avoid or suppress. We're often taught to hide these feelings, to push them aside in favor of maintaining a calm and collected exterior. But for those who are conscious, emotions are not the enemy. In fact, they see them as valuable messengers, revealing deeper layers of themselves that they may not yet understand. Rather than running from discomfort, spiritually conscious individuals lean into it. 
They know that by fully experiencing their emotions, they can uncover hidden wounds, unresolved pain, or areas of growth that still need attention. This doesn't mean they are controlled by their emotions. Instead, they learn to sit with them, to explore what lies beneath the surface, and to use these feelings as a pathway to deeper self-awareness. For instance, when anger arises, they ask themselves, what is this emotion trying to tell me? What fear or insecurity is hiding behind this anger? Rather than reacting impulsively, they pause, reflect, and use the emotion as a mirror to better understand themselves. Highly conscious individuals know that emotions, when fully felt and understood, can lead to healing and transformation. They don't view sadness or frustration as weaknesses. Instead, they see them as necessary parts of the human experience, opportunities for growth. Every tear shed, every moment of discomfort, brings them closer to understanding their inner world. They know that emotions are part of the spiritual journey, not distractions from it. This perspective shift is liberating. Imagine no longer fearing the depths of your own emotions, but instead welcoming them with open arms, knowing they hold the key to deeper self-awareness and healing. There's no need to numb or hide. The journey toward higher consciousness requires you to face yourself fully in all your rawness and vulnerability. For the spiritually awakened, emotions become like waves, sometimes crashing, sometimes gentle, but always passing. They don't cling to them, nor do they avoid them. Instead, they ride these waves with grace, knowing that each one brings them closer to a deeper understanding of who they truly are. By embracing their emotions, they cleanse their inner selves and clear the path toward higher consciousness, freeing themselves from the emotional baggage that holds so many back. This approach to emotions transforms their experience of life. No longer burdened by unresolved feelings or the weight of suppression, spiritually awakened people move through the world with a sense of lightness. They understand that every emotion is a stepping stone, a guide leading them toward a fuller, more authentic version of themselves. And with each emotional release, they find themselves one step closer to inner peace and spiritual liberation. Section 5 consistency over motivation as spiritually awakened individuals progress further on their journey they come to understand a vital lesson true growth doesn't rely on bursts of motivation but on quiet unwavering consistency while motivation can spark the initial desire for transformation it's the daily intentional practice that brings lasting change it's easy to feel inspired during times of crisis or emotional highs when everything feels intense and urgent in those moments, we are driven to act, to seek meaning, to push ourselves beyond our limits. But once the storm passes, it's human nature to drift back into comfort of the fire fade. Spiritually awakened people, however, know that the real work begins after the storm, during the quiet moments when life feels easy. Consistency, not motivation, is what separates those who experience fleeting spiritual insight from those who truly evolve. Highly conscious individuals understand that growth isn't about dramatic, life-altering events. It's about the small daily choices we make. It's about showing up for yourself every single day, even when the excitement has faded, even when it feels tedious or mundane. This is where true discipline lies. Spiritually awakened people have cultivated a practice of mindfulness that extends beyond moments of inspiration, whether it's through meditation, reflection, or simply living with greater awareness, they make conscious choices every day that align with their higher purpose. They know that these small steps taken consistently build the foundation for lasting transformation. Imagine the strength that comes from this kind of consistency. When you no longer rely on fleeting bursts of energy or inspiration, you become grounded, steady, and resilient. Your growth doesn't hinge on external circumstances or temporary emotions. It is rooted in something much deeper, your unwavering commitment to living in alignment with your spiritual path. Highly conscious individuals don't wait for the right moment to act. They don't wait for a crisis to seek meaning or for inspiration to strike. Instead, they practice conscious living every day, knowing that spiritual growth is not a destination, but a continuous process. 
This daily commitment to mindfulness, no matter how small or subtle, keeps them moving forward, even in times of calm and comfort. The beauty of this approach is that it builds inner strength over time. Each day, each small action becomes a brick in the foundation of their spiritual life. And as this foundation grows, they become less dependent on external motivation and more connected to their inner purpose. They know that it's not the occasional leaps of progress that matter most. It's the quiet, steady effort they put in day after day that truly shapes their path. In this way, spiritually awakened people learn to trust the process. They understand that the journey to higher consciousness is not about racing to the finish line, but about bought walking the path with patience, consistency, and faith. And with each step, no matter how small, they move closer to becoming the truest, most aligned version of themselves. Conclusion. The unfinished journey to higher consciousness. As we reach the end of this exploration, one thing becomes clear. The journey towards spirit spiritual awakening is not a destination, but an ongoing process. It is a path filled with moments of clarity and confusion, joy and challenge. But what sets spiritually awakened people apart is their unwavering commitment to growth, to letting go of what no longer serves them and to embracing the deeper truths that lie within. This journey, though gradual, is transformative. Each day they make conscious choices to release the need for external validation, to embrace their emotions, to let go of control and to live with authenticity. They understand that real change doesn't happen overnight. It's a slow, deliberate process of unraveling the layers of conditioning and stepping into their true selves. There's a profound beauty in this slow unfolding, a beauty that lies in the small, everyday victories, in the quiet moments of realization and in the inner strength that grows with each step forward. Spiritually awakened individuals know that the work is never truly done. They continue to face life's challenges, but they do so with a sense of peace and acceptance, knowing that every experience, good, good or bad, is part of their evolution. And so the journey continues. For those on this path, the destination is not perfection, but self-realization. It's about living in harmony with themselves, embracing the unknown and finding joy in the simplicity of being present. They don't seek to escape life's complexities. Instead, they dance with them, trusting that every twist and turn holds a lesson waiting to be uncovered. As you reflect on your own spiritual path, remember that it's okay if the progress feels slow. Every step, no matter how small, moves you closer to your higher self. The key is to remain committed, to show up for yourself every day, and to trust that even the tiniest shifts in perspective can lead to profound transformation. In the end, the journey to higher consciousness is deeply personal. It's a journey that only you can walk, but one that holds the promise of deeper peace, fulfillment, and connection. So as you move forward, take each step with intention, knowing that you are continuously growing, slowly evolving, and becoming the most authentic version of yourself. Your spiritual path is unfolding exactly as it should, and every moment, no matter how ordinary, brings you closer to the profound growth that awaits you. Keep walking, keep trusting, and embrace each step, knowing that this journey is your greatest gift.